hello guys this video tutorial is related to performing the bootstrapping process for the higher order constructs so the process is same you have to click on calculate and then click on bootstrapping after this you have to consider the sum samples of 5000 as recommended by higher at 2016 but right now i'm considering only 500 to speed up the process because 5000 iterations uh, take little time okay you have to just click on calculate and then you have to wait for the results uh, so here are the results now okay so you have to export these results like this you have to click on this then you have to click on start export and you have to save these results by the name of bootstrapping results so i have already uh, downloaded these results so the, here is the file you have to click on the first table that is path coefficients and in this table you can see that there are some relationships that are actually not the part of the hypothesis because these are the relationships with the dimensions of the constructs so you can see that ceb relationship with c ceb relationship with f and ceb relationship with m are not the part of the hypothesis but these are the dimensions of ceb so what you have to do is you have to make a separate table for this and the rest of the relationships you have to put all the rest of the relationships in the table of hypothesis testing like this you can see it over here that these relationships are the part of the hypothesis so they are in the table of hypothesis testing table however these relationships are not the part of the hypothesis for this you have to make a separate table and you can uh, mention it like this that customer engagement behavior refractive have a construct and in the right up part you can explain it the that these are the dimensions of the customer engagement behavior so I hope this video will help you in uh, writing your results for the Harada construct. Thank you so much.